Alright, welcome back to another video. We are at Minecraft episode 2 and today we're going to build our house. Now, I've just recorded the outro of the last video right over there. And now I'm recording the intro to this video. I do not want to turn around because I have actually already been recording for a little bit. Then I remind, remembered, oh wait, I need an intro. So, um, very chronological, very strict we are at, the, at our schemes. Anyway, let's just get into it. And here I'm just digging away and all these animals are like looking at me. Trying to get pet. I ain't gonna pet you. I don't even know if that's possible. I don't think it is. Oh, there goes my spade. Okay. Steve, we talked about this. Listen, Steve. 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 Alright. So. I'm trying to completely get rid of these grounds so I can go build a house. Steve? Steve? I think I've gone insane, people. I've, I've spent a few minutes just digging away at the, at the dirt over here. Feeling quite exhausted from uh, a little party I had yesterday. Um, Just basically trying to get, play Minecraft to calm my mind and you know, have something else to do than just sitting around watching YouTube videos. So I decided I'd go dig a little bit. So far so good. A lot of the rock has been replaced with grass as you can see over here. I was digging this all away earlier and now uh, it's pretty much all grass fields. So there you go, that's the first part uh, of the house laid down. I think, I'm thinking now I'm gonna basically make a little show off of how I would build that house. But I'm, uh, I'm planning on doing a couple of things first. What we will need is to cut some wood, so that's easy, that's in the swamp right there. But I also want some dark wood to, for the roof. So what I'm thinking first is I'm just going to cut down some trees in this area and try to look for a dark oak forest at the same time. But before I do that, I want to store some of my more valuable items in the chests that I don't and some of the stuff that just fills my inventory so that I don't have to bother with that anymore. It may be useful to bring my bed along. I'm just gonna bring that along just in case. And let's see. What else do I want? Well, I'm gonna cut down wood anyway. I do not have a lot of valuable items as of yet. But that will change in the near future. Pumpkins are really useful because you can make pumpkin pies from them. And all you need for a pumpkin pie is an egg. So and this Putting down a chicken farm is the easiest farm to have because for chickens you only need seeds to breed them and you only need eggs to uh, get them. So it's uh, already quite powerful in that regard. And of course you only need sugar cane and pumpkins. And pumpkins go grow extremely fast. Look. I think that's a dark oak forest. I think we already found it, guys. That's wonderful. Uh, that's really good. So we're gonna bring along some dark oak saplings and uh, we'll be able to replenish it. But it being this near, it's actually really great. Get a stack of that and just get out of there. What I also really like about dark oak is the ease at which you cut them down uh, and how many you, you get. Because I've cut two dark oaks down, and you, I got about 84 logs. And it takes no longer than a few minutes to do it. It's really easy, and 
The thing is, with a normal tree, you get about six blocks, and they're relatively easy to get. You don't have to move up and down on the platform. But because these are four thick, you can just work your way all the way up and work yourself down really quickly. So relatively, it's not much of a loss. And with oak trees, you have this the chance of getting these really big trees, which can be extremely annoying to cut all the way down, mostly because sometimes they branch off to a direction that you hadn't planned for. Oh. I do not want to meet that witch over there. That uh, doesn't seem too wise. Grabbing all these eggs seems like a good idea, though. Is that witch not there anymore? I hope so. Alright, so right now we're actually going to start building our very first house right on this little shape over here. I've already cut this out a little bit now, so let's see how far we come. I think I want to place my first corner over here. Two, three, four, five, six, five in between. Two, three, four, five. Just to make sure, so it needs to be uneven. Now we have one over here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's cool. One, eight. Now I think this will be the basic shape of our house. I'm wondering how high I want the building to be right now. I'm considering building it about three high. Oh, hello. So let's just start with our first shapes. I think. There we go. First shape in there. It's looking kind of barren still, because we are going to need one more material that I forgot about just a moment ago. We're going back after a good night's rest going to have to dig away all the dirt because that looks hideous. Oh, and we already <laughs> failed on the first stair placement. You should place it down there. Hope we don't fall off because then we might take damage. Not really looking to take that. Oh no. Oh no. That's That's not good. It's not what we wanted. There we go. And one over here. There you go. And let's also fix this a little bit because, sure, I love uh, I love nature as much as the next guy, but instead of having nature, we also need functional flooring. And as I said, this is going to be a really small house, just trying to slowly build towards something bigger. All right. Here we go. First part of the roof is done. Now the rest of this I'm just gonna fill this up real quick. Also over here. Oh, there you go. Place a uh, stair on either side. Continue the beautiful, beautiful shape. Oops, see we made a small mistake here. That's easily fixed. A better fission in my head. Oh no, you know what? That's the one cobblestone, we'll leave it there. And we're gonna go build a small staircase and maybe I should actually make some torches before.
There you go. Let me think. How do I want this to continue? I think I know already. Uh, then a brick. And that. Or should I make it go up one more before I do that? Hmm, that is a difficult decision to make. Just like that. Uh, you know what? I think I'm think I'm gonna like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ow! 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 I almost always keep falling off of those. That hurts. That's because I want to make a small window over here. So I think that'll look cool. Well, that was a very convenient X break, I guess. Look at it. It's coming together quite nicely. Now you want one giant log going through the entirety of the build. So here you go. And there it is. 15 long. And we're just going to place stairs up against it. The inside will be furnished somewhat later on. And now we place slabs all over this log covering it up kind of and oh no we do not want that want it facing the other way on top of the huge beam over there oh i'm taking a lot of damage that is not particularly useful but uh, I'll agree with it. As long as it's my own fault. Can't really do much about it, can I? Now, our house is pretty much finished. I can't really get in anymore, so I'll have to damage myself. Uh, what seems to be the least impact? Uh, over here. Doesn't really matter. Now, over here, you can see there's still some inconsistencies, but we'll fix that right now think okay, uh, over here it all looks just fine it's just one inconsistency here fixed now I do want uh, I think that looks pretty ugly Let's see how we're gonna fix that I don't quite I'm not quite sure yet but for now let's just make a few dark oak slabs. Place them underneath here. We can have a window right here. That's the thing, I do want to be able to place windows here, so considering removing these or just to make it a little bit simpler. Maybe add some shape by placing Stairs like this. Let's quickly make a cobblestone axe. There you go. Add some shape. That's not exactly what I wanted. But I think it understands me. Uh, yeah, that's all right. I think I'll, I'd rather have that. The, that's actually exactly what I wanted, but it doesn't do uh, doesn't do that. That is unfortunate. Anyway, I'll be able to get some glass right now, and I'll see you back when I've gotten it. All right, guys, we did it. We build our first house. 
Now it's not entirely finished, there's some details I could add on later. But for now, this rustic style little mansion, as I should call it, is going to be the base of our new uh, our new base of operations. Now, our chest is over there, I will probably move those in between videos. But for now, let's take a gander at our house and just enjoy it. I've added some windows, I've added a little door. And upstairs, there is now, it's now fully lit up with a bed on top of that accidentally placed cobblestone that we're just going to leave there. As well, I found a few iron blocks while uh, adventuring. They're in the chest. I thought I had them under me, but I didn't. So, next episode, I think it's time to go adventuring. I think for now, the most fitting end is just going to be able to look outside our windows. And I enjoyed a few. I really like this. I, uh, I really am looking forward to building more like this. So any, anyway, I would like to hear from you how you would like to see this. Because for me, I feel like, you know, I'm showing you the same thing over and over and over. But at the same time, you know, I also want to give you the feeling like you can keep up with me. You can build next to me. Kind of like a let's build, but in survival. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you see you in the next one. DJ out.